people welcome back to style ladies with shalu and i hope you all are doing well so as you know i was doing my color makeup season if anyone of you don't know about that please go and check out my other videos link i will put all the links in my description box so today i'm going to create a pink look i know there are so many girls who have that in their favorite list so without wasting any more time let's jump into the video so to start my makeup i'm taking double gulabari rose water which is very much suitable for all types of skin and this is going to remove all the excess oil from my skin so for uh, moisturizer i'm taking this urban botanics moisturizer this is the packaging and i'm recently using it but i'm actually liking it a lot it's suitable for acne prone skin oily skin and normal skin so after that i'm taking my sq force base oil primer and i'm going to take a few drops of it so here 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 and here yeah. okay it's dripping so for foundation i'm taking maybelline fit me in the shade 128 and check it well before using because we don't want anything to get separated never forget to put foundation on your neck area because you don't want different shades in your face and neck then for blending i'm using this blender uh, it's nicely soaked in water and then squeezed out Okay yeah, so I'm done with my foundation now after that I'm taking my biotic uh, bio almond lip balm and going to hydrate my lips After that for concealer I'm taking this Wet n Wild Photo Focus concealer in the shade light medium beige. So you can see my concealing is done. Now I'm taking my cream contour by NY Bay and this is a contouring stick and the shade of it is toffee.
layer palette and I'm going to take this contouring powder to set that cream contour. Now I'm taking Black Mirror Rose Powder in the shade Soft Pink and I'm going to bake my face with it. You can see it's a loose powder. So I'm going to take this same sponge and bake my eye. After that, I'm going to draw my eyebrows and for that I'm taking this Melin Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. So my eyebrows are done, you can see. Now I'm going to start my eye look. And for eye look, I'm going to take Blowout Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm going to use this nice pink color today. I'm taking this fluffy brush. The palette is highly pigmented so whatever color you choose you have to be very careful. Now for center of my eyes I'm taking this Maybelline Nudes palette and from there I'm taking this shimmery, I hope you can see, I'm taking this, this shimmery pink color and going to apply at the center of my eyelids. So here it is. Now I'm going to take the same pink color, this pink color, and take some more for the outer crease area. In a small brush, I'm going to take this silver or whitish silver color for my inner corner. I'm going to take this Black Me Insta Liner Eyeliner and draw a very thin wing eyeliner. So you can see my eyes are done. Now I'm going to take this same mascara palette and use the... Okay, first of all, I'm going to dust it off. All the excess powders I'm having up here. Now I'm going to take the blush. And I'll be very light-handed because I don't want the pink very overpowering. I'm done with my blush. Now what I'm going to do to 
apply my eyelashes. Okay, so I have put my false eyelashes going off camera. You know, now sometimes it can be so messy. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm taking this Maybelline mascara, Hyper Cool mascara, and I'm gonna put uh, very little to my lower eyelashes. I'm going to use this Wet n Wild White Kohol and kind of line my lower waterline. Done. Always do this before applying mascara <coughs> if you don't forget like me So for my lipstick, I'm taking this pretty purple pure matte lipstick uh, I will mention the shade in the description box It's a nice popping pink color I feel it's a very pink pink so I'm going to add my Studio West lipstick. Now taking a tissue paper, I'm going to remove the excess product. I want to give it a gel look. So for that, I'm taking the same biotic lip balm which I applied before and lastly I'm going to put my highlighter and for that I'm taking my Lacme with Sheer I think I'm done yeah. so this is my final look like I have completed my makeup you can see now I'm going to show you my final look so guys this is my final look you can see I hope you're liking my look and if you like the video please do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel meet you in the next video till that bye bye love you all